Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror possession film, The Offering. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a narrative text telling us about the myths of a terrifying female demon from the first century AD. This demon is known by various names across various communities, but the common idea is that she is the taker of children. Now, we see a creeping room and the scene slowly move toward a demonic library of sorts. The tension is so thick, it can be cut with a knife. But then, a chicken pops up, so a bearded man named Beardy decides to cut it instead. After this, Beardy uses the chicken for a ritual to combat the same demon we just heard about. Now, Beardy sees his beardless dead wife, Ada, approaching him. She asks him to stop what he's doing, but Beardy tells her to burn in hell because he believes that she's just an illusion. Now, a demon girl shows up, whose name is later revealed to be Sarah. She tries to attack Beardy, but he is surrounded by a holy circle, so she can't harm him. Demon Sarah taunts Beardy and promises to give him his dead wife back, but in exchange for life. Beardy gives in to his bearded temptation and stepped out of the holy circle. This allows the demon to enter his body, but this was a trap as Beardy stabs himself with a holy knife. He is also wearing a holy locket, which is used to burn the demon when she tries to take it off. Eventually, Beardy drops dead to the floor, but has successfully sealed the demon. Now we move to the city where a man named Art is talking to his wife, Babe, about meeting his dad. Babe is pregnant with Art's baby, but is not too keen on meeting Art's dad, because he's upset with his son for marrying out of his community. Anyway, the couple enters dad's home, but finds some people performing a holy ceremony for Sarah, who is recently deceased. Dad arrives and happily greets the couple, after which he leads them to their room. At night, everyone enjoys dinner, but then, Art gets a call, and he walks away. Now, Dad apologizes to Babe for not attending her wedding, and they make up. Meanwhile, we learn that Art is facing financial problems and has to put up his dad's house as collateral against the loan taken for his new home with Babe. Then, Dad tells Babe about how Sarah had gone missing for a while and was found in a horrid state later. Art walks in to interrupt the conversation, and then Dad's grumpy friend named Grumpy shows up with a dead body. We learn that Dad has run a morgue, and then he goes with Art and Grumpy to examine the body. Art doesn't appreciate the vulgar words Grumpy is using for Babe, but Dad keeps everyone calm. It turns out that the body Grumpy has brought is actually Beery. Dad explains that Beery had lost his wife Ada a while ago, and became extremely depressed. Grumpy takes Dad away for a chat, so Art has to start dissecting Beardy's body. He pulls out the holy knife inside Beardy's body and keeps it on the side. Meanwhile, Grumpy tells Art's dad that he shouldn't trust Art even though he is his son. Now, Art continues with his examination of Beery and finds the holy locket. Not realizing the dangers of his actions, Art pulls out the locket, and because of that, Beery's body immediately becomes demonic. The lights go out, and Art pisses his pants, so Dad checks up on him. The holy locket falls down and cracks, so Art slides the pieces into the drain to keep them hidden from his dad. Beardy shakes for a moment and scares Art, but Dad says that this is only a case of rigor mortis. However, he finds the holy knife, so he asks Art to take some rest. Art wants to ask his dad about using his house for the loan, but decides against it and leaves the room. Dad inspects Beardy's body and worries that he's done some beardless acts. Meanwhile, Art goes to Babe, but gets distracted by some demonic whispers. Suddenly, his mind is attacked by a screech, but he ignores it and snuggles next to Babe. Later, Babe wakes up to some creepy noises. She looks at Art and gets spooked for a bit, but doesn't see anything suspicious. So she goes to the bathroom to tie up her hair. The door to the room opens by itself, and the bathroom lights turn back on after Babe shuts them down. Suddenly, Demon Beardy arrives with his beard and attacks Beardless Babe, even pressing on her pregnant belly. All of this seems to be a dream, but then, Babe notices in the mirror that there's some blood on her sheets. On the other hand, Dad studies the holy knife and calls up his friend, who is a demon expert. He learns that the holy knife is used to seal a demon inside a human body. However, when the demon expert asks Dad if there is a holy locket, he says no, because Art had hidden the locket inside the drain. Basically, the locket is a seal to trap the demon inside the body. But even then, the worst a demon can do inside a human body is to mess with the mind. Since Dad has only mentioned the knife, he is told by the demon expert not to worry. Later, the men bid farewell to Sarah and wish harm upon her attacker. 
After that, Dad prepares Beardy's body for his funeral, and opens his eyes to reveal a creepy glare. Anyway, Dad seals the body and walks away, not realizing the demonic noises emanating from the body. Now, Babe prepares the lunch table, but feels an ominous presence. So she uses her camera to check for something suspicious. She spots a girl's legs hanging from the lower end of a coat, and then she reviews the footage she recorded. Babe gets a jump scare almost instantly, and she drops the camera, breaking it in the process. Then, Grumpy answers a call on Art's phone, and learns about the loan he's trying to pay using his dad's home. At night, Dad tells Babe how he had a hard time dealing with his wife's death, and they begin to bond. This wholesome moment is ruined when Grumpy arrives, and exposes Art as a fraud, who's trying to trick his dad into signing off his house. Dad is visibly upset to hear this, and he asks Babe if she knew about Art's plan. But she looks clueless. So Babe confronts Art for lying to her, and scolds him for making her quit her job, especially when she's pregnant. Art changes the narrative and blames his dad for ruining his mom's life. He also reasons that he was just waiting for the right time to ask his dad for permission to use the house as collateral. Afterward, Art goes to talk to his dad about the loan, but finds him reading the bank letter. So he walks away. Suddenly, dad hears demonic noises as the lights go out. The demon appears against the creepy background, and he starts to pray, but dies from a heart attack. The next day, Art goes to the morgue room, and is shocked to see everyone surrounding his dad. They tell him that his dad's heart gave out, but Grumpy blames Art for everything, and shows him that his dad had signed off on using his house for the loan. Art grieves in front of his dad's lifeless body, while we also see the holy locket seemingly letting out some unholy noises. During the funeral, we learn that Dad was suffering from a heart problem, which explains why he died due to shock upon seeing the demon. Now Grumpy instigates everyone to start singing religious tunes in front of Art, who seems to be scribbling something on his chair. He eventually panics and leaves with his grumpy temper. After which, it's revealed that he's inscribed a sigil onto the chair. Art goes to his room to gather himself. But then, he hears something and checks it out. He finds a sigil stuck to his door, and is frozen in a trance. Downstairs, Babe spots Ghost Sarah and is shocked to see her. Ghost Sarah hides behind the cloth, so Babe removes it to reveal a mirror. Suddenly, everyone freezes in real life while they are still behaving normally in the mirror. That's when Ghost Sarah scares Babe and asks for her help. Babe rushes to Art, but he doesn't respond due to the sigil, and simply says that he wants to sleep. Later in the night, Art wakes up from his pig sleep and proceeds to inscribe the same demonic sigil onto the floor but wakes up again and finds himself on a carpet. Art starts to cry in a chicken voice and tells Babe that he wants to go home. The next day, Art asks the Holy Rabbis to get rid of Beardy's body, but refuses to talk to Grumpy. He is told that the only way to do this is to transfer Beardy's body to his next of kin, but Beardy doesn't have any kids. Now, Art checks out some of Beardy's items and locates his address. He heads inside the house. He explores the area, only to find a message from Beardy, asking for forgiveness. Then, he plays a tape recorder, which plays Beardy's voice. He says that he made a terrible mistake summoning the demon that's currently inside his body. Art spots the same siddle hidden under a pile of books and inspects it, while Beardy curses himself for allowing the demon to trick him into something sinister. Art finds a hidden compartment under the symbol, and then we shift to Babe, who hears demonic noises under some cloth. She then opens the door to find Ada, who is clearly an illusion. Meanwhile, Art finds a tape with Sarah's name on it and decides to play it. Here we learn that Beardy had been conducting research to bring back his wife from the dead. Through the ritual, he had finally summoned the Archangel of Life and was told that he could bring back his wife through another girl. That's when it's revealed that Beardy was the one who had kidnapped Sarah in the first place. He presented Sarah as an offering to the Archangel, but this was actually the taker of children demon. The demon possessed Sarah and knocked Beardy away without giving him his wife back. After which, he showed himself as the same demon that ended Art's dad's life. Art is shocked to see all of this, and then the tape ends. Babe calls up Art and tells him that Ava is here. But there is too much static, so she can't understand what he's saying. Ava manages to convince Babe to take her to see Beardy's face, and creepily touches her pregnant belly because she wants Babe's child. Now, Ada asks Babe to pull out Beardy's body, and she does so after some initial hesitation. However, upon seeing Beardy, Babe's belly starts to ache, and Ada tells her that she has been cursed. She then tells Babe to pick up the holy locket from the drain and burn the symbol on it. However, upon doing this, Beardy's body burns, and Ada reveals herself to be the demon itself. 
Babe runs her heavy stomach away and barely escapes the demon by using the lift. Then, she finds the demonic sigil that Art actually did inscribe onto the floor, but subconsciously covered with the carpet. Babe isn't able to escape the house and tries to call Art, but the demonic sigil grabs the phone and tempts her to enter it by imitating Art's chicken voice. The lift opens up, so Babe hides under a table, but Demon Ada plays hide and seek with her for some warm-up entertainment. Art finally comes home and meets Demon Sarah, who wants to make a deal with him. He then finds Babe and runs away while carrying her heavy body. However, Art finds himself stuck in a time loop where he keeps restarting at the point he enters the house, almost like a checkpoint. Demon Sarah says the only way to leave with Babe is to offer her another child, but Art refuses and stops her bullshit. Demon Sarah attacks his mind, so Art runs away and calls Grumpy for help. He shows up and Art plays him the tape he saw at Beardy's house. With no other choice, Grumpy summons the demon expert, who immediately inspects the sigil. He asks if Babe had entered the sigil, but Art doesn't know this, so he rushes to Beardy's body. Seeing it burnt up makes the demon expert realize the demon has now been freed. He then finds the holy locket and orders Art to give him the other broken pieces from the drain. Now, the demon expert explains to Art that this demon is the taker of children who would bring miscarriages upon innocent people until God sealed it away by sacrificing his own son. However, Beardy freed the demon, thinking that she was an archangel who would bring back Ada. Later, they take Beardy's ashes and add them to the holy locket, along with a fresh symbol. Art wants to send the demon straight to meet Satan, but the demon expert says, this is a Jewish movie, so they need to carry out a binding ritual, as it's the only way to stop it. Unfortunately, the doors swing open, breaking the holy circle, and the demon arrives to snap the demon expert's chick neck, sending him straight to meet Jesus. Grumpy and Art run away, after which they try to form a new holy circle, but Grumpy vanishes before it gets completed. Art then sees his dad, who tries to tell him to give in to the demon's demands, Grumpy snaps Art out of the illusion and tells him to stay within the holy circle and carry out the binding ritual. However, the demon arrives to flex its demonic figure first and later attacks Grumpy, presumably ending his grumpy life. Art begins the ritual, but then the demon uses Babe's sexy body to distract him. Art steps out of the holy circle and is attacked in his mind, after which he finds Babe stuck to the window. Art begins praying religiously, even after the book's words melt in front of his eyes. The demon finally possesses Art, and he tries to stab himself with the holy knife, hoping to seal it inside his body, but the demon knocks it away. That's when Grumpy miraculously shows up in a grumpy temper and helps Art stab himself to seal the demon. However, just before Art breathes his last, he notices that the holy locket was knocked out from his neck. That's when Grumpy is revealed to be an illusion, because the real Grumpy is already dead as shit. The demon emerges victorious, but then, Babe wakes up almost as if all of this was a dream. She finds Art and rushes to meet him, but this is also an illusion, which the demon uses to get Babe inside the sigil, thus completing its evil plan. The movie ends with the demon attacking Babe, most definitely killing her and taking her baby. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.